And now to a story that is positively San Diego. A student at OLP, Our Lady of Peace in North Park, has just won the highest Girl Scout honor called the Gold Award. And it's for her dedication, leadership, and commitment to making a difference in her community. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen joins us now live from North Park. Perla, you had a chance to talk to this young woman about her struggle with alopecia and how she's turning all of it into a positive. Well, Jared, we met right here at the Academy of Our Lady of Peace. This is her high school. And let me tell you, sitting in front of a 17-year-old who is so well-spoken and so accomplished was extremely impressive. And this tote bag that I'm carrying is just one part of her mission to spread awareness around alopecia. It's a disease that causes sudden and severe hair loss. At 14 years old, Gabriela Semino started losing large patches of hair on her scalp. Losing my hair, my thick hair, was scary. Semino had just started high school at Our Lady of Peace near University Heights. Doctors assumed the sudden balding was correlated to stress. It takes a toll on your mental health, your self-confidence. You feel very alone. Finally, in May of 2021, Semino was diagnosed with alopecia areata. She turned to her Girl Scout troop for support, but no one understood the disease. Looking through the photos online, and there were only pictures of middle-aged men with bald spots in their beards or their heads. I didn't really feel represented. This is the Project Alopecia tote bag. So Semino decided to use her Girl Scout Gold Award project as an opportunity to raise awareness of the disease. She started a health and wellness fair at her school, giving women the opportunity to donate their hair, and she created tote bags filled with educational pamphlets and books that students could pick up to learn more about alopecia. Each of those tote bags were put into every school in the Diocese of San Diego. Her work was so profound, the Girl Scouts recognized her with the Gold Award. It's their highest honor, and only a short list of members are awarded. How did it feel when you had earned it? It was definitely fulfillment, a lot of accomplishment, a lot of gratitude that I actually experienced everything. I turned a negative into a positive, and I would never go back. In just a week, Gabby is going to start her senior year here at Our Lady of Peace, and she plans to continue this work in college, and then she will join the Gold Award Ceremony for the Girl Scouts next year. Live in North Park, Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News. Perla, I love the idea of normalizing a disease like this, especially for teenagers and kids who really don't understand what's going on when people lose their hair for that reason. Um, did she talk at all about like what those books are doing or, or how the kids have been able to respond now that they have those bags? Uh, yes, she told me that hundreds of kids throughout the diocese got to receive these bags, and these are all written by people with alopecia. So she has books inside the tote bags, she has pamphlets about her own story, and so I think it's just sharing this for a lot of teenagers in high school who see someone balding and maybe don't fully understand what's going on. I mean, she was 14 when this happened, so I think it's making a big impact throughout the county. Thank you so much, Perla. It's such a huge accomplishment and such an effort from this young woman who has her whole life ahead of her, and yeah. now she's sharing it with other people. I love that. I hope she can keep working forward with it for the rest of her life. Yeah.